Okay, hello there to everyone on YouTube. New York Stilo here once again. And I want to show you guys a trick that works very well when it comes to these pesky little animals called anemones. Now, um, anemones, I have a, a love-hate relationship when it comes to anemones. Why? Because they're such beautiful animals. I'm going to take a flashlight. It's actually like 5 o'clock in the morning. And you can see the anemone. And there is a pump. An AquaClear 50 located um, blasting water towards it. It's not too, uh, too much of a strong water flow, but this tip I want to give you guys um, mostly because anemones are really pesky animals. You know, they can't understand you. You can't tell them, hey, listen, if I put you in the tank, you got to stay in the front of the tank. Or um, don't go under the rocks or whatever the case may be. Don't attach yourself to close to the uh, corals so here's a little trick that I like to use um, I take this aqua clear 50 I put it in the low flow um, it took about maybe a half an hour of blasting it with some water to either get it to move or to um, get it to detach itself Clowns are going to be a little pissed about this, but I'm sorry, but this anemone has been um, kind of getting a little too close to my Montipora Capricornis, which is doing very well. I'm going to do a video on that pretty soon to show you guys that it's actually growing, but this is about half an hour's time. That it takes if you have problems with anemones moving towards your coral or whatever the case may be and you want to get them off your rocks do not rip the anemone off the rock you are you you're gonna damage it a damaged foot equals possible death so the best way to do is just to take an, uh, a small power head and just kind of focus it to the um, anemone and the anemone is going to basically either move because he's pissed about the water movement or he will detach itself as this one is doing here and I'm about to detach him myself with my hand and I actually want to put this guy in the sump because I want my clowns to kind of host my carpet anemone so with that said, I hope this video has helped you out. You know, don't remove anemones with your hands. Don't rip their foot. Um, if you're going to buy an anemone at a, at a, at a retail store, um, make sure you purchase the rock with it because the foot can be very fragile at times. And any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, hit me up on YouTube. You guys know me. Stay tuned for my next videos. Peace.